Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we are going to play Super, Super Villain. Villain. This galaxy is mine. This ga oh, it is this galaxy. It's it, mine. Indeed. The whole galaxy is mine. Okay, Super Villain, This Galaxy is Mine is um, a tableau building game for two to four players uh, designed by uh, Dennis Davidoff and Anton La Lozo Lozovsky. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I like butcher everybody's name, which is terrible, do, but in any case, um, published by Monroe's Publishing um, and Wright Games LLC, plays in about 30 to 60 minutes. That's pretty accurate. All right, so this is a prototype, so yes. keep that in mind while well, we take this to the table and show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Here we have Super Villain, the Galaxy. Is mine. It's mine, actually. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> so what we have is a card game mm -hmm. uh, featuring multiple super villains from different different planets battling to become the super villain mastermind. Yeah, like the owner of the galaxy, right? Yes, okay. I guess the owner. <laughs> I own this galaxy. The, the CEO now. of the galaxy. Yes. <laughs> so what we'll be doing. In typical supervillain fashion, is playing, drafting, and playing minions out to our evil projects. mastermind projects mm -hmm. uh, in order to complete them and turn them into top secret facilities. Right? right. All the while, hurling meteors at each other's planets in an effort to keep them in check. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay. So what we're going to do? We'll quickly go over the uh, the components. It's very simple in this game. Uh, and then we'll start and show you how it plays for two players. So what we have in front of you, you see a, um, you have a... Asteroid deck. Well, it's not really called an asteroid deck. Uh, it's called a domination deck. So well, the domination asteroids. deck um, can be used uh, in two different ways. It can be used either as an asteroid or it can be used as a secret project that will eventually become a... Secret facility. Well, secret facility, yes. So what you have is when you first play it, you'll have a cost, cost in minions, that you'll have to play out to this project or devote to the project in order to complete it, which then it will turn horizontal and then activate text on the bottom, all the while giving you any number of domination points, right? The first player to five domination points wins the game. Every round you're going to be choosing one of these cards and deciding whether or not to use it as a project or to launch it at your foe as an uncharged asteroid. And we'll explain what that means as we play. In this pile, you have your minion cards, and we'll be dra uh, drawing these every round. And what these minion cards do is they're made up of two different sections. You've got the minion mob section, and you've got the minion ops section. The, minion, the cards can be played and as either a mob or an ops, and you're allowed to play one mob and one ops card per round typically unless some sort of ability allows you to do more than that or some certain keywords like Swift for example uh, which again we'll talk about as we go on uh, and start playing so uh, we'll be playing these cards throughout they have different uh, abilities some of them come out shielded which we'll explain as well um, all the while trying to assign them to our projects think of them as currency really and trying to race to get the most secret facilities out there, right? Yeah. And, and not have them destroyed by the other player. Because <laughs> that's really the key here, is to destroy each other's facilities or minions while you know trying to build up yours as quickly as possible right. and defend against their asteroid attack. So, with that said, we'll go ahead and we will get started and show you how this thing plays. Alright, to begin the game, uh, you obviously need a start player, so Francis, as always, will start. As always. As always. And what you do is you, you deal out two minion cards each to start, and we're going to go through and alternate turns. And each turn is going to have multiple phases. So in the morning, where your turn starts, uh, any of your asteroids that are still out there aimed at the enemy player, which would be me, would get resolved. Um, then that player will draw a minion card. Mm-hmm. So you go ahead and draw your card. I know, I'm just thinking. <laughs> And then you uh, have to decide whether you want to start a new project or launch an asteroid by drawing one of the cards from the, right. the uh, domination And these are played deck. face up. So we just play that face up. So I've, I've drawn the Repatriator Rex. Yes. 
It's terrible. Okay. <laughs> so if I were to play this as a project, it would um, it would require one billion minions <laughs> yes. in resources. That's a lot of minions. Um, so that's a lot of a lot of uh, minion mobs. Um, and then whenever a mob on this card is destroyed by an by an asteroid, draw a minion card. I really like that. Okay. So that way, if you want to shoot me, at least I'm getting something out of it. All right. Um, and like we said, it has your domination points on the bottom if it were to be completed, and then some passive text that'll kind of happen from turn to turn. So I will build this. I'm not going to launch it at you. If I wanted to launch it at you, I'd do that. Okay. Well, oh, that's good. I won't this time. So she's starting a secret project. <sighs> I'm starting a secret project. So that's so morning. Not so secret, but... It's not secret yeah. at all. So now, now we move into the day phase where... Uh, you're going to get to play one mob and one minion ops card. Mm -hmm. And then you can play any number of boosted mobs and swift minion ops. So if they have the keyword boosted or swift, they can be played in addition to your, your one mob, one minion ops uh, limitation. Mm -hmm. um, you can also shoot down asteroids. So if I had any uh, aimed at her, she could discard two cards to destroy an uncharged asteroid, or three for a charged. Uh, or she can use any of her abilities on any of her projects mm -hmm. or secret facilities. All right, I'm going to play this for the minion count. So that's 400 million minion mob. So I'll just play that down like right. that. Right. If the math is way too high, you can just look you at it as 1,000 or 400. Yeah. And it's a little easier. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm assuming like, that's why they made the zeros right? very small. Uh, probably. Yes. Yeah, most likely. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm not going to play anything s for text right now because I want to hold on to them. Okay. So you're going to pass the mantle I'm over to me. Go ahead and pass to you. Okay, so I'm going to start by my morning phase. I don't have any asteroids to resolve, so I'll draw a card, and I'll start off with a project. So I can go with the Interplanetary Harvester. Uh, I do like this one. So this is going to allow me to, um, whenever I charge an asteroid, I can draw a project. And it's pretty inexpensive to build. Uh, it's only going to be worth one domination point, though, so it's not one of the more um, expensive ones, but we'll go with it. And I think I'm going to play, so like I said, we can play one of these for their minion numbers or their minion ops, but I think I'm just going to play this minion. Now when you play a minion that has a shield uh, token on it, you actually get a token and put it on that minion, and now he can absorb one hit from an asteroid coming in. Yeah, so that'll good. be it for my turn. Okay. You're up. Take my card. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna play this down here. So I'm at 900 now. And, oh, I didn't take my thing either. Let's take this. Space elevator. Hmm. Once per turn, move your mob from one of your projects onto another. Kind of nice. When complete, draw a minion card. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really want to work towards that. I'll shoot that at you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and. Swift minion ops. All right, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna keep holding on to these. Okay. I think. Really? Interesting. Is it? It is that quite. No, I am gonna hold on to these. All right, then I'm just gonna draw. Ooh. And now that's interesting. Uh huh. So let me draw my project and what do I want? Do I want to build a superhero recycling plant? That's actually <laughs> pretty nice. So this, let me draw a mini car and then if it gets destroyed I get to draw two. 1.3 million. I actually kind of like this project so I'm going to keep that up. Uh, I do have to deal with, well I don't really necessarily have to deal uh -huh. with your, your asteroid right now. So an uncharged asteroid, just to go over that real quick, is an asteroid without a charge on it. This token is a charge. That means that asteroid's um, charged up and it's more powerful. So a regular uncharged asteroid, all it can destroy is a minion. 
Minimob, yeah. A Minimob on a project. So at this stage, all that asteroid can do is take out this guy. But he's shielded, so it's just going to take out his shield. So we, I really don't have to worry about that right now because it's going to cost me two cards when I get rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, and these minion cards are kind of hard to come they're by. They're hard to come by. If this were charged, though, it can destroy an un manned project or one of my super uh, secret facilities if i had one up so those are charged ones are very bad um and they're not but they're not that easy to charge either so mm -hmm. it's not not that big a deal so what i'm actually going to do this round is is actually play this 500 minion mob mm -hmm. to complete this guy so what this is going to do this is going to discard pile so i just completed it i'm going to turn it but when completed i launch an asteroid so that's going to give me a free asteroid because launch of text, yeah. because of the text back at Francis. So, <laughs> boom. Now, whenever I charge an asteroid, I get to draw a project. Um, and I don't have... Oh, that I could... Oh, well, I could get really nasty if I want to do that. But it, I don't think I want to do that right now. So I'm just going to end my turn right there. Okay. And we'll go to you. All Take right. your turn. Take your turn. Ugh. Right. Okay, so actually, um, I, I drew my card, but because I have an asteroid going at you, we need to resolve that, right? So. Uh, the very first thing you do, yes, yeah, so is this resolve is, asteroids. It's going to come over. There's nothing for it to hit because it's uncharged, so it's just going to like kind of miss target. But for each of those asteroids that get launched that weren't prevented, uh, we get to draw another minion card. So. Yep. The yeah, whether or not they do this. damage, you still get an extra. So, uh, you still get an extra minion card. Hmm. Did you take your project card? Uh, no. I'm, I always want to like see where I'm at with stuff before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's destroy draw a minion card at the end of your turn if you have one zero. Each other villain draws it. No, I don't like that either. There's a lot of good projects. Who shuffled this deck? Uh, I don't remember. Um. No, neither of those really do anything for me. So I'm going to play this for the points. Which is going to complete this. So, that is completed. So, whenever a mob is destroyed by a Okay. So whenever you destroy another villain's mob, you may take it into your hand. Mm, that's, that's cool. That's my passive thing. Um. <laughs> For a text card. Oh, I have to deal with that thing too, don't I? Alright, I'm going to play this for the text, and it says, destroy any number of your projects, could be zero, then draw that many minion cards plus one. Do I want to do that? Because this is a swift ops, but I can't just play it as swift ops right now. Okay. Right? Like, I can't no, you play can right it as now. swift ops, but then draw a card and play it for the text if I want to. Of course you can. Sw now, really? the thing is, when you have swift when you have swift ops, mm -hmm. you play it without limitation, so it doesn't count oh, okay. as any of your other it plays. Count as it's anything. free. All right, so I'm going to destroy any number of projects. It could be zero, so I'm going to destroy zero projects mm -hmm. and draw that many minion cards right. plus one. Since so. you haven't played a minion ops card yet, yeah, you still get to play one. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's so what the, I thought. So just imagine that doesn't count as a minion ops, but right. you get to play it as a, a free minion ops card, no matter how many you have of those swifts. Okay. And it oh, would be, like if, if your um, actual minion mobs have the boosted keyword, mm -hmm. you can play as many of those as you want, in addition Nine. to your normal play. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Mm. Alright, I'm going to, well, this is, I'm going to, Play this, and this is also a Swift Ops card. Okay, that's another. But favorite. I'm just not going to have any Minion Ops cards to play okay. right now. So this allows me to put a shield onto a mob and or secret facility. So I'm going to put this on my secret facility, Repatriator Rex. Okay. 
So we'll do that. And then I'm going to say, oh, well, to the asteroid coming at me. Okay. So that's it. You're up. So this is going to hit nothing because it can't hit mm -hmm. a facility, a right. secret facility, because it's not charged. But I do get a card for launching a missile or a an asteroid, if you will. And I get to draw a card just because I like to draw cards. And we get a card as a normal draw. <laughs> uh, so we have granular antimatter. So transform this into an asteroid. You may charge it by destroying your mob on any other project. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, yeah. I may actually keep that. scooch over a bit because I think I'm kind of going off the edge here. <laughs> and I'm going to play this. Hmm. So, just so you understand, the text up here you can activate if possible while this is a project. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you, like, when completed yep. or when destroyed or something like that. So I could technically, like, play a mob transform this and then convert it into a charged asteroid. Why don't you show us what you're what you mean? Yeah, so like <laughs> so technically I could do this, yeah. right? So I can say I can say, okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna play the minion mob here. Then I'm gonna transform this into an asteroid and then mm -hmm. charge it by destroying one of my right. mobs. And now it's this a is a big mob to destroy. It is. It's a charged asteroid now. Okay. Right? So uh, bu -bu -bu. and that's it. That's all. Yeah, okay. that's all. Sounds Your turn. Good. So this is gonna hit, but nothing's gonna happen. There's no mobs right? to kill. Yep. Um, but I will get a minion card and another one for my turn. And a project. And a project. Oh. I know. It's like I always draw the swift ops. Why? Those are good. All right, Headhunter. Um, when complete, the top card from the minion deck as a mob under your project. Put a shield under the mob. That's not bad. Destroy this, then each other villain destroys a mob of their own. Hmm. Keep That's it. Not bad. I guess I'll keep. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep. You got another project going. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I have like crappy projects. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the text. Destroy your project. We'll draw and two then card. draw two projects. Uh, wow. So yeah, yeah, that's actually really good. So now what let's see. At? What? Oh, they're both zero. Oh, that's sweet. But oh, zero projects yeah. are they? They have like certain passive abilities, they do. and I mean, they're, they're pretty inexpensive yeah. to build. So this is only six hundred to build. This is destroyed whenever a mob on it is destroyed. <laughs> it's a okay. genetic mutator. Um, and I can destroy it, then choose your mob. It gets 300 plus minion mm. power for this turn. That's pretty cool. This one, destroy this, then destroy any project with no mobs. It's the red button. Destroy this, then destroy any secret facility with zero to one domination points that has no shield. Wow. That's pretty strong. Yeah. That's really strong. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and build this one. Mm -hmm. And I'll launch this at you. OK. You could have built both. I could have, but I don't like having these tiny, with no cost, and you're putting all your resources towards them, <laughs> clogging up your space, like literally. Um, and then I can play some money, so let's do that. Some minions. And I've got a charged asteroid coming at me. Mm, actually, I'll probably just destroy this now, and then destroy any project with no mobs. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah. I liked that project. I don't want to do that. All right, I'm just oh. gonna, what? I forgot to, to activate my interplanetary harvester last turn. Just oh, thinking about that. Project. 
Well, well yes, yeah, so yeah, because it's whenever you charge an asteroid, draw a project. So I technically should have had another one out there, mm -hmm. right? The data forger. Well, I won't launch it as a missile. I'll just take it as a project. I'm sure you would have preferred to kill the other one anyway. So if um, I have a question. Yeah. Because I've never thought about this before. Um, so what you can do, you normally, like normal asteroids, you can discard two minion cards to get rid of that asteroid. With the charge, you can discard three minion cards. That's right. Can I discard one minion card and get rid of the charge? No. <laughs> or it's no, just that's like not already how this on works. <laughs> it's, it's just charged. All right. But and that's only going to hit this shield, right? That is correct. It's not going to blow up my thing. No. Okay. Why do you have that smirk in your face? <laughs> it's fine. Is it though? Oh, it's going to be just fine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Um, all right, uh, I'll just pass. I guess I have nothing else that I can do. Okay, uh, you passed. Mm -hmm. All right, so my turn. Yep. This resolves, and it blows up your shield. That's pretty much it. But I get a card for that. Mm -hmm. And I get my normal draw, and I get a project. So let's see. System error fluctuator. When completed, draw two minion cards and or projects in any combination. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm, that's good. But you need one more. Um, oh, right. Point to win, right? Uh, yeah. So, so instead of five, you'd need six. Yep. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to play these guys here and complete it. Okay. All right. So I am going to complete it, but I have to. I could just draw two minion cards. And or project. So I'll draw one minion and one project. And this is the force majeure insurance. Destroy <laughs> this and put a shield on any mob or secret facility. Whenever your secret facility is destroyed by another villain, draw two minion cards. Draw one minion card if it was destroyed by yourself. All right. So I'll, you know what? I'll I'm gonna keep these here with my completed, and I'll put another project out. I got a lot of projects going you have on right of, now. I have a lot of projects happening <laughs> right now. I got lots of projects. <laughs> <laughs> Right yeah, I certainly sure do. Sure you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to... Uh, that's kind of interesting. I have a lot of options here. Uh, I'll keep you on your toes here. So I'll just do this. I'll play them as a, an ops car and I'll launch as many asteroids as are incoming missile uh, asteroids. So I'll just launch one. Okay. All right. That's right. going to end my turn. And you can go. Okay. I need to resolve this asteroid. Which also misses. Yes. You. So that's not great. But it's a card. But it's a card. It's that's a good fine. way to get minions. Mm -hmm. And I take this guy and I take this. I really need a project. This is another zero. Oh. Really? Um, destroy this, then shoot down any uncharged asteroid. You may discard a minion card to take this asteroid as your project. Interesting. So can you look at them first? <laughs> Draw a domination card. You may take it as your project or launch it as an asteroid. Hmm. When complete. This will do that, right? Yeah. Um... All sorts of projects. You just have so many projects. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing really big, though. I know. Like, where are all the two projects? Where did they get shuffled into? Oh, <laughs> well, you killed the one I had. That was expensive. Alright, so I'll complete this right now. Mm -hmm. So that's done. That goes away. So when completed, draw a domination card. And I can take this seriously. 
take it as a project <laughs> or launch it as an asteroid. It's going as an asteroid. Okay. See ya. Um, and then the, if I d destroy this project, which I'm going to do, I can shoot down an uncharged asteroid. So I'll shoot this down. Okay. And I can discard a minion card to take this asteroid as your project. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that just yet. All right. You want to um, get a good one? No, wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to keep this here in my finished projects. I've been working on a lot of very important things, as you can Clearly. see. Um, so I played that down. Did I play a, um, no, I didn't play a minion ops yet. So many options here. There really are like a lot of options. Mm -hmm. It's a project one. Okay, I'm gonna just pass, I guess. Okay. It's your turn. All right, so this is gonna not hit anything. Yeah. I'll take a card, draw my normal card, take project, potentially red flagger. So destroy this, and then put a shield on your mob secret facility, and then whenever you complete any other project, you may put a shield onto any mob. I like this one, the red flagger. This is actually the, the red. Flag. Who's red flagger? Well, I don't know, but that's a good project to have, <laughs> I think. Some good goals here. Um, so that's my project. And I'm gonna play this onto it. 400 with a shield. And then oh, that's pretty cool. Some pretty good options here, but I don't really think Alright, I think I'm going to Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to do that. Hmm. I'm going to use that minion ops. Transform your project into an asteroid and charge it. Mm. And then whenever you charge an asteroid, draw a project. Nice. Oh, got one of these zero ones. <laughs> destroy this and destroy any project with no mobs. I like that. That's good. Unfortunately, you don't have any. I don't have anything Projects out there. <laughs> Nothing in the works. Yeah. All right, and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. So you're up. All right. Uh, you got to resolve what? your asteroid first. Oh. This one? No, that one's shooting at you. Oh. Oh, yeah, mine. All right. So it kills your shield. Yep. And I get to draw a card. And another card. The hand limit, by the way, for those of you watching, is seven cards, so mm -hmm. we haven't hit that limit yet. But we're no, getting close, actually. We are, actually, this time. Histo oh, heroically lost and found. When complete, draw a project. If destroyed, draw two projects. I'd like that. I'll take that project. That's a good one, actually. That is a good one. I like that a lot. And it's worth two points, finally. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to require 1.3 billion minions. That's a lot of minions. That's a lot. Hmm. So this is an example of that boosted. Yes. It's 200. You that can play that in addition to yeah. another mob. Yeah, that's good. What are you gonna do? I don't know. 
There's so many options. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play this for the text as my minion ops. Yep. So destroy any mob. So I'll destroy this mob. Okay. Goodbye. And then whenever I destroy a villain's mob, I can take it into my hand. So this actually oh, comes to me. That's nice. And that goes away. So, so that's that. I need to take care of this thing, I think. Uncharged asteroid, that, that asteroid is charged. It is charged. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, oh, I can't, that's regular minion ops, right? Yeah, you already played a minion ops. Oh, that stinks. I'll just play this one there. And then, oh, I have to get rid of three of these to kill that thing. Mm -hmm. play this it's swift mm -hmm. right so destroy oh wait and destroy your project oh I don't want to destroy my project you can ah <laughs> Sorry, I'm like taking back my turn a lot of times. <laughs> but okay. I'm trying to just not have to get rid of that thing. Oh, because you want to get rid of three cards? Yeah, I don't want this thing to kill my thing. Well, your Repatriator Rex? Yeah, I like my oh. Repatriator Rex. Okay. Boosted. I just put that on there. Yep. And I guess I'll just have to get rid of all of these to shoot down that thing. Probably like not the best move in the world, but whatever. All right, you're all set. I guess. That's too many cards. Like overwhelming. Okay. Oh, these are pretty good cards. Uh, huh. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna go like this. Play him here. Mm -hmm. For 500. I'm gonna play 200 here because that's boosted. I could just play it. And then I'm going to do. Oh no, I didn't want to play this one. I want to play this one. Because then I'm gonna play this. Did you this. draw your project yet? Oh, I didn't. Sorry. Dr. Evil's cat. I don't want it's a zero cost one, a zero point one, mm -hmm. so. Um, and I'm gonna play this one here, which is destroy your mob. Mm-hmm. 
and then move another villain's mob onto your project. See, I should have done that stupid take that one that I was gonna do last move and I didn't because I'm too nice. So I think I take him here onto the project I had. That's so lame. It is pretty lame. That's it. That's my turn. All right. My turn. Fishing rod. Um. Like a random minion card from other villains hand reveal it to, to your hand. If destroyed, resolve the win complete ability. Alright, I'll build that. It's fine. It stinks I got rid of like all those cards. And I didn't take your thing out. I was gonna take that from you. Which one? This one. Oh yeah, you should have. Well, I didn't, because <laughs> I'm not a super villain. <laughs> you are a super villain. Not really. Um, I don't really know. I guess I'll just get rid of these. Oops. And get rid of this. And now I have no cards. Your turn. Okay. What do we have here? Interplanetary Booster. I'll take that as a project. I will play... I had all those... I had such good cards. And I just trashed them because I was I'll taking too play. long. This is a Ops. Draw three minion cards. If I have no minion cards, otherwise draw two. All right. And I'll play I'll play this here for 900. Mm -hmm. And build the Red Flagger. Whenever you complete any other project, you may put a shield onto a mob or a secret facility. Cool. So I'll put that here. And that's it. Oh, see, I could have done this last turn. I should have just done this. That's why I saved it. Destroyed it to Destroyed shoot it down. To shoot down the thing, but yeah, all right. I just—it's like so much to remember. Yeah. That I don't remember. Um, decoy facility zero, really. <laughs> Instead of your other villain secret facility, that other villain is going to destroy right now. I don't understand that. Destroy this, then put to any mob or secret facility. Um, I don't know. See, I can't even, I can't play that because I don't have, I guess I'll just take this anyway. Because these are, the zero ones are kind of nice because they give you like the best like immediate stuff. They are, they're pretty if good. If you have means put on them, which I don't, so. Your turn. Okay. I mean, I guess I could put this down. I don't do that. Death from below. Destroy this, then destroy any project. Destroy. Seriously, is no. Hmm. I need to get some more twos out there. Yeah, tell me That's about it. That's not going to really help me. We just keep pulling all these Zs. I know, I know. So. Worth nothing. And the ones they take forever. Yep. Uh, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a couple things here. So I could. <clears throat> yeah. So I could do this. I could just spend. 300 here to complete this for eight. Are you almost done? With what? You have three. I only have three okay. right now. 
so I have whenever I charge an asteroid, draw a project, whenever I complete any other project, I may put a shield on a facility. So I just completed a project, so I can put that on. Mm -hmm. um, this guy is whenever your secret facility is destroyed by another villain, draw two minion cards, so don't worry about that. And then I have this system fluctuation error, which is... I need one more domination point. So I technically need six right now to win. Okay. Which is kind of stinky. But that's what it is. Um, I haven't played a minion ops card yet, though. And I'll play that one to charge this asteroid, which lets me grab a project card, which is the wormhole. When you when complete, destroy your asteroid if you don't destroy this. Ooh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take that as a project. I'll destroy the tiny doomsday device, which will destroy this project. Thanks. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> At all. All right. And that is the end of my turn. All right. Whoa. Okay, I don't have any of those. Ever shooting fortress. I think I would need one of those. Wow, that's <laughs> one point four billion. You may just des destroy an uncharged asteroid when complete. Discard a minion card to launch an asteroid. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I'll maybe I'll build that. I'm sure you'll take it from me, but. Hopefully, anyway. because I haven't gotten a single two-point <laughs> project yeah. in, like, a long time. And that's all you have. That's not all I have. I only have two. And, yeah. I just drew one more. I, well, all I've been drawing I just took these. one away from you. That's your third one you've had uh, to mine zero. Oh, um, well. Luck of the draw, I guess. I guess so. But I keep drawing Zs and you keep drawing ones. Look at all the one projects you have out. That is true. So, it's all balance, okay? All right, so I have to get rid of that charged thing. Ugh. Um, see, that's charged now, so I can't even destroy this. But I will destroy this and put a charge onto a mob or secret facility. I'll protect my only claim to fame my villain, super villain sphere. <laughs> <laughs> my repatriator Rex. I know you will try and kill. Um, and then let's see. That thing's going to come destroy everything I've built. I guess I, I can't stop it though. Like I have nothing, absolutely nothing to stop it. What's it, it gonna destroy? destroy an un what's that? It's I, gonna destroy anything, whatever you pick. I can't destroy a Repatriator X. No, you can destroy that though, which I know you will. Mm -hmm. And you can destroy I that. I can't destroy that. You can destroy it. I can't have minions stuff. on it. Yes, I can destroy the minions, Right. which would be a waste. Well, I guess it would be a good idea then for me to put like this on here. That's probably the best move. And yeah. that comes with a shield, right? Yep. So, and that way you you're don't really limiting what I can target here. Yeah. That's that's the best strategy, I think. Um. Yeah, and I'll just hold on to this. Okay. Okay. So I resolve this, mm -hmm. and I'll take out the magnetic beam. This one. Yep. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, it's something. It's not as good as I was hoping. So I get a card for that, I get a card as my normal draw, and I get a project, and still another blue one. Space vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I like the space vacuum cleaner. It's all right, but it's not It's not really helping me right now. But I, I need... Do you have anything that lets you switch projects? No, hmm. not right now. I'm working on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. 
Survival of the Fittest. I'm going to play it as a text, though. Mm -hmm. It's a 700 million. Yeah, that's, that's really a high good. one. But I'm going to destroy my secret facility. Mm -hmm. This, so now I don't need six points. Right. I was wondering when you were going to get yeah. rid of that. I, I had another card that was going to let me destroy it, but I ended up getting rid of it somehow. I forgot yeah. that I was keeping it for that. Right. And then I was stuck with that stupid one. So destroy secret facility and draw two minion cards. Put one of them onto your project and discard the other one. So I can put one of these on the project and destroy. I discard another one. Ooh, which one do I want? I'll go on the interplanetary, intergalactic, the planetary. The interplanetary lines. Planetary, intergalactic. <laughs> All right. So that goes there. And I'll play this as a swift minion to put one of these on each of my mobs and i'll leave it at that okay your turn all right what do we got oh it's villanova university yes how nice <laughs> villainous university um when complete draw a project and discard a minion card then draw a project mm. I don't know about that. Is that a one-pointer? I'm going to shoot that at you. Oh, sweet. Not because I want to, just because I don't really care for that project. Um, seven. Oh. What? I uh, you I just yeah I destroyed a secret facility before. When mm -hmm. it's destroyed by me, I get to draw a minion card. So oh, okay. let me just catch up. I always forget about my abilities. Ah, uh, okay. I would have got two if you destroyed it. Right. Let's see. Destroy a project. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just. Do this. Oh, that's big. Yeah, uh, we'll see how long that lasts. And I'll hold on to this guy. All right. Go. Let's go. Fake multi pass. <laughs> it's the multi pass. Discard a minion card, then destroy all your other projects. What? what? When this is completed, then once per turn, use a once per turn ability of any secret facility that has no shields. That's crazy. Oh, I'm going to shoot this. Cause okay. Because you don't like Because it. I really don't want the multi pass. Yeah. All right, so I'll shoot that back. And I'm going to spend one of these guys. Not that I really like using him. Ugh. These guys are pretty good. All right, I'll just use him here for 300 more. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give me completed interplanetary booster, which complete, I launch an asteroid. Cool. Shoot another one, all right. And then whenever I charge an asteroid, draw a minion card. So, I believe... See, the ones have like a lot of good um, text on them. Yeah, know? like this one, right? Charge your asteroid, I'll play as a minion. Yeah, out. now you get to draw a project and Charge your asteroid, draw a minion, draw a project, and get the brainwasher. This needs 100 million minion power less for completion for each of your asteroids. I'll bring that out as a project. And that's all I can do. Alright. You're gonna need to shuffle that. I'm gonna need to shuffle that. You're so gonna need to shuffle that. Actually, I don't have any minions, so I think that's yours is resolved, right? Your asteroid? I'm sorry, what? Your asteroid resolution? What about it? Oh. It's yeah, been your turn. I don't have any minions, right. so he gets blown up. And you get one of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, these cars are not <laughs> properly shaped because it is prototype, so yep. they're a little, a little wonky. But there you go. Thank you. Okay. Project. The Interplanetary Avalancher. Mm. Uh, when you charge an asteroid, launch an asteroid. I don't think I've ever charged an asteroid in this game. You haven't yet, no. no. Launch an asteroid. That's pretty crazy. That's, That's pretty a pretty good, good one, actually. <laughs> You're just saying that because you don't want me to launch this at you. I really don't. <laughs> but you're going to. Of course, I have to. All right. You're about to like blow up all my stuff. And win. I'm just nudging asteroids your way, that's all. Yeah. This is not a nudge. <laughs> that's a strong that's nudge. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's like... That's a strong suggestion. Strongly suggesting. You go faster, asteroid. Um, all right, let's do... Jeez, let's at least do this. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, choose your mob. It's printed minion power is 600 million this turn. Boom. This okay. One. So that'll be 600 million. Right? Yeah. Oh, wait, this turn? Yeah, this turn. Oh, that's not even worth it. No. Nope. Like, what is that? Not worth it. Um, put up two of these things. All right, I guess I'm doing this for the text. Put up to two onto your mobs and our secret facilities on two. And actually, as far here, as you did that, pretend yeah. I played that right there. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay, so mine resolved now, mm -hmm. right? So yep. I guess I'm hit? just gonna knock off two shields, right? Or maybe I'll knock off that 200 guy, okay? And then I'll knock off, say, this shield, okay? And that's it. So I get two cards for shooting two mm -hmm. asteroids plus one for my turn. And the chronosphere, when completed, you may take any project from the discard pile. And once per turn, discard a minion card, then play a minion ops as swift. I'll just not really want that one. <laughs> uh, what I'll do is I will play this and charge this asteroid, which will get me a card and a project. How are you charging these asteroids? What? You this just keep getting these charge asteroids. Charge my cards? asteroid. You're ridiculous. Uh... Cloning chamber. Actually, I think I want to build that one. So I need to put down some cards. These are not good. Uh, all right, I'll just put him here. And he comes with a shield. And that's my turn. Okay. All right, so this resolves. Yep. Kill the shield. All right. So this is probably a little confusing to look at. Yeah, you have all your projects lined up like that. The Star of Death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, once per turn, discard three minion cards and destroy secret facilities. None of those. That's destroy why are you getting all the big cards? Projects. I haven't got one. I know. Destroy this and destroy any project with no. Mobs. Oh wow, nice. that is pretty powerful. It's very powerful, actually. Um, okay. <sighs> All right, I will play this for the text. Destroy any mob. Hmm. And because I destroyed a mob, I can take it into my hand. And then, what projects do you have? Hmm. Interesting, okay. 
That was my text card. I think I need to do this. We'll do this, actually. So that will complete this project, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It stinks. I'm still doing it, I'm not waiting. Because this allows me to destroy any uncharged asteroid. Mm -hmm. But, whatever. That one's charged, mm -hmm. since you can't help charging asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you thinking about how you're going to blow up my ever shooting fortress? Uh, <laughs> you want me to blow up your ever shooting fortress? No, but I know you're going to. I think I'm going to play. This is a swift minion op, so yep. I'm going to play it for the text. Take a shield from any mob or secret facility and put it on your mob or secret facility. That's messed up. So I guess I'm not blowing up your ever shooting fortress. No, you're forest. absolutely not. I hate when I have to think like this, but <laughs> I have to protect the one you have to protect your investments. thing that I made here. It took me a really long time. And um, I don't know. I guess I'll... Do this too. Oh, this is Swift as well. Destroy any number of your projects, and then draw that many minion cards plus one. So, I'll destroy this. Mm -hmm. Do I want to destroy that? I don't know if I really want to destroy any of your projects, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's really no... There's really no point in doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'll just keep this, I guess. It's going to net me like the same amount of cards for next turn, so... Yep. All right, your turn. All right. Well, actually. Whoa. Actually, I am gonna do that because you're gonna blow that up. You know. Yeah. I like how you sit there and try to. You're like, oh yeah, that's a that's a good idea. You should probably do that. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. It's probably not even worth it. Yeah, it's I not worth you your time. Much. All right, so I'm gonna destroy any number of projects. This project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> it's funny. When I destroy this, I can destroy any project with no mobs. So I'll destroy one of your projects with no mobs on it. Mm. Let's do this. And then I get to draw two minion cards. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. You sure? You don't have any swift I'm... or boosted cards you want to play? I don't. No. Okay. Well, just... I did. I played a bunch of swift ones. Well, I if you just swift. picked up two more. Oh, yeah. You no, know, I don't. Just I do, saying. I do not. Oh, wait, okay. or boosted cards? Yeah. No, I don't know, because you're going to go blow them up. <laughs> so stop it. All right, take the shield off the Ever Shooting Fortress then. Okay. <laughs> I'll get a card for that. One of my normal draws. And we'll grab a project. Ah, finally. Bad luck emitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. Yes, that's 1.1 billion dollars. Billion dollars. I really need to get some things going here. Uh, There's so many weird options. Okay, so I'm gonna... I just need to charge... power up one of these guys. So I'm gonna do this. Keep it simple. Put 300 on this guy. Shield him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... I have some swift stuff that I can do. And I think that's it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards, so I'm good. My turn? Yep. 
card. Project IQ fertilizer. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, when complete, you may discard any number of mining cards and draw that many mining cards. Hmm. So you're switching them out. Discard many. No. There. Do that. Um. Doesn't matter anyway. Put that down. Thirteen hundred, right? Shoot, that finished it. Yep. That was so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Ah. Uh. <laughs> do you need to go talk about it? Yeah, this? I think we do. <laughs> All right, there you have it. You saw uh, cheating as it, at its best. This galaxy uh, is mine. Well, this galaxy should have been mine if it was for downright dirty cheating. Well, but I didn't cheat. I guess that's what super villains do. <laughs> Stop. So. Being a super villain is like a lot of work. It is. It's like very exhausting. It is. It has a lot of thinking. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk, we'll about, talk it. about it. So, um, let's start with replayability. All right. So I think that this probably has a moderate around amount of replayability, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's got its standard deck. It's not like a deck builder, so yeah. you're not going to have sort of different ways to attack it. I guess it more or less comes down to the luck of the draw in some cases. Yeah, it's one, I think it's one of those ones where it's like you know what's in the deck, and you're like, yeah, like I kept waiting for those cards to come out, and I'm like, okay, where is that card? Yeah, so it really, I mean, outside of that, I think, um, you know, you're kind of limited a bit there in, mm -hmm. in how much replayability you're going to get out of it, out of the box. Right. Um, it does talk about expansions in there already, right? which obviously, you know, never hurts a card game, because mm -hmm. most card games standard out of the box aren't typically like these types of card games deck builders living card games right. um or these sort of tableau builders are, mm -hmm. they're sort of like that that's your standard that's what you're going to get you're going to get this this set of cards this set of actions this set of abilities and you play it out and like okay yeah. so you're going to get about your basic replayability i think player count am i putting you in <laughs> sorry sorry just, let's just be go going on. on and on no. <laughs> With certain player counts, obviously that's going to change things. So I think the dynamic of having missiles coming or asteroids coming at you from multiple players, right? Yeah, really will things. shake the game mm -hmm. up. I think. And there's some cards that we didn't use because we are only two people. So right. There are some that allow you to like kind of target multiple players on one turn, where it's like you know destroy an asteroid on this side, but then also you know destroy a mob on another player's tableau or something. So, right. So yeah. I think I think replayability is really going to depend on. Uh, your player count right, is going to yeah. certainly factor into that. I think with two players, it may, you know, over time get a little, I guess you could say, stalish because mm -hmm. you, you kind of know what you're expecting, you know what you're doing. Yeah, a little expected. Um, but otherwise, I think, you know, depending on how the cards come out, that's going to change. Exactly. Every, every yeah, and I think, too, like you were saying, with the expansions and stuff, you definitely see you easy, easily slipping in expansions to kind of keep this fresh. Yeah. Which would be neat to see. I would agree. So. Uh, what about weight? Weight. I think this is sort of a, a light to mid weight. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. got, um, it's got your standard, uh, your, your standard, you know, spend your resources mm -hmm. to build a project. Your standard difficult decision. Yeah, like those choices either use, uh, which I do like. I like the mm -hmm. fact that you could use a card in multiple ways. That's always a, right. That's always a plus in my book. Um, where you could either use it for the mob or use it for the text, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got some, and you also burn cards to, to get rid of asteroids, right? right? Like just throwing minions at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To, to, to negate. Yeah, that. there's definitely multiple ways to get done what you need to get done. Right, and I think kind of looking through that strategy and thinking thinking through the use of cards or sort of trying to trying to build sort of a, a triggering engine, if mm -hmm. you will, right, based on all of the super projects you have out there is where the complexity comes in. Right. Where it may get a little thinky for some people. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I, I think it's light, light to medium. Yep, I would agree. Um, what about the theme? I think the theme is cool. Did you feel like a super villain? Yeah, it, it actually, it, it's, it's definitely, <laughs> I feel not so much like Dr. Evil. I feel right. more like Gru. Yes, exactly. Right? That's kind of what I, where I was going with it the whole time. Right, because obviously yeah. the, you have the whole minion right, you know, tag right. there with all these well, hundreds and millions of these yeah. little, little minions at your disposal. It takes that like super villain, it, like the hardness and the crassness mm -hmm. off of 
being the supervillain. It's just right. like another day in the life, you know, get right. good work and do my supervillain stuff. And just throw minions at your problems yeah. and get all these massive, crazy, uh, super secret projects done. Right. You know, on the backs of your minions. Which right. is like, so you're definitely like, grew. And I think the theme really comes through in the cards that you're playing and um, all of that kind of thing. It's cool. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I like the theme. I thought the theme was really neat. Yeah. Um, the art's really cool. Um, but we'll go into components. Yeah, so we'll, let's just go into components now because it's next anyway. Okay, so. yeah. So again, like, the art stays with that, with that theme, theme yeah. of the minions, right? Um, so to me, the art was perfect for this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I completely agree. And, and that was not even complete art. So there's certain cards that are kind of like just almost like real drab outlines of things, mm -hmm. and with some text on it saying that you know this is not final. The art. Yeah. Um, but I mean, in it, from what we've seen, I, I can honestly say, like, the, the art's beautiful. I think it's oh, great. Yeah. It really is uh, well done. Really, yeah. Really well done as far as uh, as the art goes and the components. And it's prototype, so it's, it's cards. I'm sure they'll have better card quality. Uh huh. Um, but even the card quality that we got with the with it the was good. It's always they're, they're just not all cut the same size. Right. It's, it's done it. through whatever um, production. Yeah. To, to get this prototype copy done, but uh, in any case, I, I think the components are going to be really nice. Okay. Great. Uh, what about setup? Setup is it's easy. a minute. Yeah, you just shuffle two decks. Yeah. <laughs> you go. Draw two cards. Yeah, so. that's pretty much it. All right. Um, audience, who is this for? Uh, I think this is for, uh, I mean, it's for pretty much anybody who likes these card games. You know what I mean? I think so, yeah. It, it doesn't take, like, a real thinky gaming group. You could probably bring this out to anyone. Anybody, and yeah. And it, it's pretty simple to learn. Mm -hmm. um, again, the complexity comes in some of the deeper strategy, but if you just want right. to teach somebody the basis of the game, mm -hmm. you could explain the rules in a few minutes. Yeah, and I think they'll get, easily. They'll get the joke here, and they'll say, okay, I understand what I need to do. I'm just going to... I need to build these things up. Yeah. And they'll probably have fun with it because, it's again, it's like this whole... If you like you know, blowing up your friends. Super, yeah. Yeah, 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 there is game. there is yeah. take that in it. You know, I mean, the yeah. game is, is really built around super villain take that. You know, because right. you are competing against each other, so you're going to blow each other's stuff up. You're going to be sending asteroids whether you like it or not. At well, the and I think that all that means is that you have to also incorporate into your strategy, not just building up your, you know, infrastructure, or whatever you're trying to do, but mm -hmm. also making sure that it's protected, which is part of being a supervillain, right? Agreed. So, Agreed. Yeah. So, there you go. All right, cool. Uh, fun factor. Fun factor. You know what? I think the game is definitely fun. It's it's a cool yeah. little game uh, as far as t um, tableau building. It's got mm -hmm. a unique theme. Uh, I like the the aspect of using minions as resources. Right. And also having to choose between what you want. Do you want to use it for, you know, for the resources to build projects, but You've got to think about, is it the right move to get my project out quickly, or do I kind of hold back on it right. while I'm shooting rockets at, or, or how do you, or like, asteroids at you? Yeah, how do you use those, like, zero projects to, yeah, yeah, to your benefit. advantage sometimes? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can trash a project, or trash, you know, a, a completed, right. you know, super infrastructure thing or whatever. Agreed. And, um... Maybe yeah. you don't want to trash a really good one. You want to trash the zero one. Exactly. So, yeah. but I think as far as fun factor goes, like, I mean, if you've watched this long enough, you know we're not big take that game we're players. Yeah. We're just not. I mean, yeah. it's just not what we get into. Um, but we do play them, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, and, you know, I, I think I enjoy them a little more than you do. Yeah, you do. Because I don't mind it. I, I think, you know, just kind of sticking it to somebody is pretty cool here and there. Yeah. You're more of a build my engine in my own little I side like of the map. I like to build my own sandcastle and then like, don't. Yeah. Break it so like, then. in Kemet, if you've ever played Kemet, you know, just <laughs> building up your one island and just staying on that island the entire game. That's kind of that's that, me. That's kind of her strategy. Uh, where the game is based on, you have to kill your enemy. So. I know. That's good. But that, with that said, um, it's it's definitely if you like a little bit of take that, it's not really nasty take that. It's really honest. not. Because like, you can recover yeah. from this stuff pretty quickly in this game. You can recover and like I said, it's almost like it's not like a luck take that kind of like no. you know, where you feel like kinda like powerless against right. it. You can and you should incorporate that into your strategy, protecting, you know, the yeah. buildings that you do. Have. You can defend against all of it. You certainly can. Mm -hmm. If you if you yeah. play defensively enough, you can do that. So right. you're not going to constantly be at somebody else's mercy. I think in a two player game, it's a lot more in your Direct. face. Take that yeah, because so it's just you shooting at each other by default. You, know, you right. don't get to kind of spread the love a little bit or, or kind right. of both look at all right. This other person's running away with the game right now. We all need to start throwing well, asteroids. Well, the neat thing them. about that, and I think we we said this, but maybe I don't know if it came across because we're just playing two players. But mm -hmm. those asteroids, I mean, they're, like they're even shaped like an arrow, yeah. kind of, and you just point them at the 
person that you want to shoot. The player that you want to shoot. So it's kind of neat. It is. Um, but in with a two players, game, it's a little it's like, tough. You know, but you we're always just shooting at each other. Yeah. So. I think it would have been cool yeah. if you had sort of a third dummy player in there. That's, I was just who to say kind of thing. randomly launched uh, asteroids at the yeah, players. I think that would be. So neat. that we had to contend with more than one right. asteroid coming at us. Not always yeah. just okay. I know you're going to shoot me, and right. it's just how many are you going to shoot? No, right. are they going to be charged or not? So I think that's that's kind of where maybe the two-player mode. You know, loses a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and I think it could have been really, you know, hopefully yeah. in an expansion. You know, yeah. um, you know, add this, add this third sort of like dummy super villain character <laughs> for a two player game because right. I think with three or more will really change it up enough to make for it sure. to make it yeah. even more exciting. So. Yeah. But great, a lot yeah. of fun. Um, so uh, obviously this is just a preview. It's on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested in it, you know, it looks really cool. I think mm -hmm. the art's great. The game is fun. It plays quick. Uh, if you like a little bit of take that in your tableau building, not deck building, which is cool because I'm, you know, getting a little burnt on deck builders at this point. <laughs> so um, I say go check it out. Um, For sure. Yeah, I'll uh, add the Kickstarter link at the bottom of the comments and. Uh, Say if you uh, feel like you want to back it, go for it. So there you have it, super villain. This galaxy is mine. It's actually mine. No, well, it was yours this time. Maybe not next time. So <laughs> it was we'll, last uh, time too. Oh, stop it. So <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks. <laughs>